Welcome back into Sports Blitz Live, everybody. Luke Robinson, now joined by a very special guest, Ms. Abby Lutzenkirchen with the Knight Edie Group. And if that name sounds familiar, yes, she is the sister of Philip Lutzenkirchen, who passed away just a couple years ago, very tragically, and uh, who was a, an Auburn legend. And we will get into that in just a bit. But for now, I want to talk about Abby and her career. She had played some soccer at the University of Alabama, and now she has moved on to work with the Night Eater Group, which we've had the great fortune of working with several times. Abby, how are you this evening? I'm great. How are you? Doing fantastic. And as I said, you are with the Night Eater Group, and they have their hands in so many things uh, in the state of Alabama now and all over, really. Uh, the, we work with them with the uh, finals in basketball for the AHSA, and obviously for the same in uh, football as well. And now they're going to be working with the national senior games, and that's where you come in. Yeah, so um, the national senior games is actually the biggest sporting event for people ages 15 up in the entire world. Um, so we're expecting about 10,000 plus athletes to come to Birmingham next June 2017, and um, it's going to be one of the biggest sporting events, multi-day sporting events that Birmingham's ever seen. So we're pretty excited to let the nation kind of see Birmingham in a different light. Will it be televised? Is, is, is it going to be on ESPN or any of the other channels? No, um, the games aren't televised at all. It's definitely more of a smaller scale sporting event, but the stories of the athletes, there's people who compete who are 50 years old and then there's people who compete in their 90s so it's pretty incredible how amazing these people are and just the love they have for their sport and i notice i'm looking at some of the sports now you've got archery badminton bowling cycling golf where, where will the golf games be played so all of the games will be central to birmingham most of them will be um at Stanford facilities, UAB facilities, the Crossplex. Um, I think Spain Park might be hosting an event. So um, it'll all be pretty centrally located to Birmingham. How are the teams organized? Is it something where a group of seniors can just enter their own team, or is there some other kind of qualifications they have to go through? So um, the national games are every two years, but every year there is a state-level game. So... Um, we're actually flying to Utah in October because they're having their state games then, and they are one of the biggest state games. They have over 10,000 athletes at that game, and then there's smaller scales like Alabama, I think, had about 300 to 400 athletes compete this year. So um, it just depends, but you qualify through your state, and when you qualify through your state, then you can make national. Well, all I know for sure is that if Night Edie is going to be involved with it, it's going to be a first-class event. I know you guys will do a fantastic job. And then I also want to allow you to talk a little bit about the second annual Let's See 43 Foundation Road Race, which is going to take place in Marietta, Georgia, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, um, Night Edie, I'm fortunate enough because they do the management for our family foundation, and that's how I got connected to them. And like I said, they've been like family to me. My family's all in Marietta, Georgia, so it's nice to work at a company where I feel so comfortable around everyone when I'm away from my family. But yeah, they've done an awesome job, and um, last year was our first year for the race, and we had over 600 runners, which was huge for our first year, so we're expecting hopefully a bigger turnout, and um, we're implementing something pretty cool this year where you can run from where you are, so say you're in Birmingham and can't make it to Marietta, you can still register for the race, and we'll send you a t-shirt, and you can get a group together to run a 5K in Birmingham, so it's pretty cool. Hopefully, we get a lot of support through that. We have family friends in Chicago and Indiana and stuff who are creating their own virtual running groups for the event and fundraising for us. So it's been awesome so far. You know, Abby, you guys have such an intriguing, likable family. I went through it and looked at some of your tweets of late regarding the road race that's coming up. And I think your grandfather competed in it last year, was it? And you had some pictures like that. And I mean, you're whole family story is really just amazing and, and the amount of passion you guys have for this foundation is incredible. Yes, yeah, so I come from a huge family. My dad was one of four and my mom was one of eight. So we have wow. tons of aunts and uncles and tons of cousins that have really rallied around our family and our family would not be doing as well as we have since the accident without our family that has just supported us and been all in with the foundation and, and supporting it and um, 
it's awesome, and a lot of them came down last year for their first year of the race, and some of them won't be running in Merida this year, but they're going to be running virtually. So um, we have a huge family, and we love to be together as much as possible. I choose to be with my family over my friends most of the time when I go home because my family is my best friends. My sisters and my mom and dad are my rock. Uh, so how did Philip wind up at Auburn and you wind up at Alabama? Uh, what was the connection from from Georgia that, that drew you to there? And if I remember right, I think Philip actually came down to Alabama and Auburn in his recruiting. Yeah, Philip looked at most of the SEC schools pretty heavily. Um, Alabama and Auburn were two of his top choices. And we're originally from Chicago and didn't really realize how big the rivalry was, I think, until Philip got to Auburn. Um, Auburn's such a special place. I think I'm one of the only Alabama fans who loves Auburn, too. But um, Auburn is just such a special place. And the minute Philip stepped on campus, he was all in with the school and loved the school, and um, it was a great trip for him. And then when I was recruiting, I actually looked at Auburn as well and just didn't really want to be under his shadow at Auburn. I kind of wanted to make a name for myself and actually was like dead set on committing to LSU. I was coming home from a trip from visiting LSU and my dad made me stop at Alabama because they were interested and I didn't want to and spent three hours there and fell in love with the campus, fell in love with the programs and the facilities and so I committed there and it just created a buzz on Twitter. I think we were trending that day that I committed and signed for to Alabama and it was a fun, my freshman year was fun because that was his senior year so my parents would be in Tuscaloosa and Crimson on a Friday night for my game, and they would drive to Auburn and wear orange and blue on a Saturday, and then they would drive back to Tuscaloosa on Sunday for my last game of the weekend. So it was crazy, but it was really fun. Well, who were you, who was the team you, you guys rooted for in the Lutz and Kirchin family before Alabama and Auburn got involved? So we actually were Georgia fans just because <laughs> we are from Georgia. Um, and tons of our friends go there, and... Um, our good friend is Hudson Mason, was one of my brother's best friends, and he was committed to Georgia. And so my sister went to Georgia, so we just were tied to Georgia because we lived in Georgia, and that's what we were surrounded by. So it's pretty rare when you see my dad wearing the same school hat every day. He wears a Georgia hat one day, and then a whole an Auburn hat, and then a an Alabama hat. So I think people get pretty confused when they see him walking out in public in different college gear every day. Well, Abby, you're doing a great job for Night Edie. We really appreciate your being on, and uh, best of luck to you with the National Senior Games and the second annual Let's See 43 Foundation Road Race. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks so much. That was Abby Luchtenkirchen. Wow, I knew I'd get that name wrong at some point in this, but she does a fabulous job, and man, what an amazing family. They, they really got an incredible story.